Hello there everybody, we party from across a shock. What about you all? How are you? Now, got a wee package from Gearbest today and I thought I'll just let you see what's to come. Because it's a really good mix this time. I have been listening. As you know, the, the people have asked me for different things and I've tried my best. I can't get them all in one go, but I've tried my best to mix and match what we've got. It started for the odd thing was watches. Um... And I got this watch and there's a review of this watch coming up and I can already tell you now this watch has outshone what I thought it was going to do. I can't get it off my arm. It's on my arm all the time. I love it. And I did. Now, this is purely selfish. I ordered another one, but I ordered another one to share with you um, because honestly, beautiful watches. I'm not a great reviewer of watches. I will get better, hopefully. So it's like, you know, give me a wee bit of grace for the first few till I get uh, copies. If you don't want to see any more, please put it down in the description. You don't want to see any more and I'll stop doing it. This will be the last one if there's enough of you say, no more watches, please. So there you go, fair is fair. But I got this selfishly for myself because I've seen it and I knew it's the same company again. It's a Gang Quan or Kang Quinn company, which give you this beautiful box, really great presentation box. And you know, I haven't, I can't even remember the price it comes, but that'll come with the review anyway. And this is the watch. Isn't that the most beautiful watch and watch strap? It is gorgeous. And it's a lovely dark blue, but it's like a like an iridescent blue, depending on where the light hits it, it uh, reflects off it. Beautiful watch. So I'm really looking forward to wearing that, and I'll let you know in the future what that's like. So, that's the first one. Now, we'll get that up there. Now for the stuff that I do hope you're going to like. I have got... Oh, what's this? Yes, I had been asked by a couple of people... Would I do tactical pens? Now, if anybody knows anything about Paddy, they know what I think about tactical pens. I've never really been a lover. I love pens, but I've never been a lover of tactical pens. But again, I had so many people asking me, so what I'd done was I went and ordered this one, which I believe, was this a Fura gear? I have this funny feeling... Where is that box? Let me just see. Do you know, it doesn't even say on it. But it's a titanium um, tactical pen, as in the little diamond bit at the top for ooh, for smashing windows. And it's got the bolt action, which for me is a must. That is a definite play thing. <laughs> that, that sort of sold it for me. Um, but it's really light. Very, very nice. Good, sturdy clip. And I'll give that a go wearing it in my pocket. I normally have, as you know, the little tiny um, zebra pens that fold down to nothing. So I'm not going to be used to keeping a full pen, but I'll try it. And I'll let you see. I'll tell you what it's like. Um, because this was over £20, I think. So it's not just a, a cheap one. It's, it's a half-decent full titanium pen. So... There's that one. We'll put that away in a wee box. Um, and again, I wish I could remember. I should start writing down who asked me for what. And now that, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'll remember on the day because I'll probably forget the box with a name on it. But what else have we got? Right, we've got knives. We've got this knife. And I had, oh no, I haven't had. This is an absolute stonker of a knife. If you like your knives big, and you like your knives big with detail, look at that titanium. This is a Y start. Titanium, uh, VG10, but look at that scale. Isn't that just beautiful? And there's so much gription. Gription? <laughs> there's so much grip on it. It really is so nicely done. Lovely pocket clip. It's not ultra deep, but it's nice enough. Great big lanyard holder. Look at that there. Isn't that just... I just think the scales... That's one of the nicest knives I have seen. 
No, there's a lock on it. It's a strange lock mechanism that you pull up here. Now, look at this blade. How different and beautiful is that? And it's one of the Russia 2018 World Cup pens. And it's actually got France on the side of it who won it. And why start on that side? I quite like that. It's different. And it's got VG10. That's all it's got on this side of it. But isn't that the most unusual looking? It's nearly lizard-like. With uh, uh, the... Oh, I don't know what you call these blades now. They're just drop point. But there's the... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I've lost I've lost it completely with them. But this is lovely. And this is... It's not a lock for when it's out. It's only a lock for when it's closed. Which I found quite strange. I've never... So when you put that down, you push this back down and that's it locked. Now, I don't know why. It, now, the detent isn't very strong, but it never is in these big, big knives. This is a, a fair size. I'll just give you a wee rough size of the knife. Just the the scale of the knife is over by 13 millimetres, which is, you know, it's five inches. And, oh, take this off and overall that's over nine inches so that's a, that is a big lump of knife but it's a big lump of beautiful knife and i love that wee lock it's just something completely different on the top of it so with that to look forward to um i've got a couple of really unusual knives that i, I really like i hope you do um now these are all very budget friendly they're not they're not horrendously priced whatsoever. Some of them are very cheap and some are just reasonable for what they are. And that this one is just reasonable for what you get, which I think is an awful lot. Um, I'm one of these people that, I don't mind VG10, it sharpens easy. And that's what we want, isn't it? We don't want to spend all day hooking. Now... Here's another one now. What is this one in here? Oh, yes, yes. Now, I've had this before on my channel, but... No, I haven't had. Sorry. <laughs> this is another Fury Gear one. This is the Fury Gear. And this is just a big work knife with a lovely orange backspacer. I love the way they've got the lanyard. Um, the little tube in there for your lanyard. It just keeps it out of the way. and will not get in the, the way of your hands. Good pocket clip. Good big blade, reverse tanto, just like most knives are now. D2, whether it's D2 or not, I have no idea, but it seems fairly sharp out of the box. Um, it really is just a big lump of a knife. Um, now, it's not heavy. I'm saying a big lump. It's not heavy. Now, it's thick blade stock, and it's thick blade stock right up to the end. Uh, it's not heavy, heavy. It's um, reasonable, I would say. Let's see, about four and a half, but we'll see when I when I get to the review what it is. You can remember that and pull me up on it. There's another one, and I have one more. And this is one I have had on my channel before years ago. Um, not by this company, by another company. And this is... A lovely, it's a homage. That's my new word now, homage. Look at that lovely aluminum backspacer. Isn't that just gorgeous? Pocket clip, which is, and I laughed, I remember the last time, they couldn't be bothered moving it, so they just put it over, <laughs> over the top of a screw head. I, I, I find that's funny. That tickles me, I have to say. But it is a lovely looking knife. For what you're paying for it. And you'll not believe the price. Look at that blade. Look at that blade. Look at the way they've left that grind. Um, absolutely lovely. Flicks are lovely. Lovely through passage there. As you can see to get to the the liner lock. And she folds down. She's a bit dry. But I'll give her a lube now before we get. But she certainly thumps out. With authority. Love that. So, folks, there's five wee things we've got coming up. A few more things in the pipeline, but there's five of them. I hope some of that um, you'll like to see. And uh, 
we'll get this over oh, the next couple of weeks we'll get through this and we'll, we'll see all five of them and uh, that's about it I'm going to leave it as that short and tight take care folks I shall see you shortly cup of tea time bye <laughs>